for about 16 years on the medial strip on Park Avenue, a sculpture has been shown. Based on the amount of time I had and the resources, I felt that I could do uh, 13 pieces. It's the most ambitious project that any sculptor in the last decade of this program has come up with. The same amount of work and attention and detail goes into just one of these 20-foot sculptures, it might as well be 100 feet. This studio is, is extraordinarily unique. We've never had a team like this before. Our plan at this point is to install them in one night. It's tight. It's very, very tight. But we've done it before. We'll, we'll do it again. With reference to the Park Avenue project, which is so huge and so much is riding on that, you are very cognizant of the fact that everything has to work perfectly. A lot of effort, a lot of work, but um, everything has gone, gone well. But yes, I, I certainly am anxious about it and uh, tired. And it will be nice when we know it's finished. studio is winding up this week. And these last two pieces have to go out this Friday, so we have, uh, we have four days left. Presently, we're in the final phase of fabrication. What that is is the final welding, grinding, sandblasting, painting, and then it'll be shipped to site for installation. It's always stressful, and, but I've been doing this for so long, it's kind of the nature of the beast. We're hoping to get 67th Street and 59th variants out to the sandblasters and to be painted. Those are the last two. Uh, progression left last Friday, so they're working on that. Basically, it's just getting the metal work done, grinding, welding, but it's just a matter of coordinating all the shipping. As Albert's design and fabrication is winding down, for me, things are gonna start to pick up. Getting these sculptures on, on trucks to begin with is quite a lot of work. They don't lay flat on their side, so we have to build rigging equipment to go around them to keep them stable as they go over the 700 miles to get to the installer's yard. We're really getting down to the small details that other people might not think about, that we're used to thinking about, to shipping all of the work getting it installed. There's permits that need to be done. Um, how the sculptures are going to be lit, we need to start to work on all of that. Yeah, that's my life. So if you load two pieces Thursday, you're going to get them there Friday. It's a lot of planning as far as like what size truck is needed, and that, that dictates a lot of the next like stages, because there's cribbing, a large one like this, you know, we'll have to lay it down. Um, it won't be able to go standing up. <laughs> so then you have to make a cradle basically to hold that and then it has to have a way to be lifted up and put in place. That becomes a bit of a challenge and that's where Jeff and Albert are really uh, key at designing those and having the experience to know what might happen on the job site and understanding that. So as the piece gets done, here we protected everything through the manufacturer, great. Now it's got a leaf here and it's not under our control. Fortunately, more and more, we're building better crates, but it can only happen if you sit down and unravel the puzzle, because you have this awkward looking thing, how do I suspend that in space, get it in and out without using tools? It's fun, you know, that's a fun part of the job. It may sound silly to some people, but I get a lot of satisfaction out of that. In one way, what I'm gonna show you uh, to do is dangerous, not physically, but it could create a lot more work or it can make it real simple. If you keep the stone, I mean, totally flat, not up at all. So the back edge yep. grinds. You see that? Yep. When I see a piece leave on the truck, I take a deep breath and it's like, yeah, I feel good about everything we've done all the planning's there, your baby's left, and it's, <laughs> yeah, it's scary. When I look at these, these sculptures, they're one-of-a-kind pieces. You know, it's, you know, I can't go back and grab another one if something goes wrong. And I, you know, pray to God that nothing does go wrong, but you take your time and you're careful and you're cautious. I don't want to leave with a load without knowing that 
you know, Jeff or Dave, you know, has, has the blessing of they feel comfortable that it's going to go down the road as it is. Uh, we're a team. Seeing it installed, I mean, that's the part that in a, in, in a way is more fun than anything. Seeing installation, that's the magic. Usually it's a surprise, you know, they wake up in the morning and there was nothing there at night and all of a sudden there's a beautiful piece of sculpture outside their window or when they walk to work they'll notice something. It makes people look at the Park Avenue malls, which from my perspective is great. The studio put out a book that showed the um, sketches in situ so you get an idea of what it's like but of course it'll be nothing like the experience of actually going and walking down Park Avenue and seeing them. I had a preliminary sense of what they were going to be like but of course they're even more astonishing because now they're huge and they're made in these unbelievably sort of sensuous and, and powerful materials so I think we've gotten even more than we thought we were going to get and I think it'll be very emphatic it'll be interesting how people react to it. These are huge monumental pieces that require all sorts of complicated rigging and yes, couldn't, couldn't do it on a busy street in the middle of the day. How you actually logistically put in 13 very large sculptures on one of the busiest places on the planet during the night. I, ca I can't imagine how this is going to happen, but it will. We only have from 10 p.m. Friday night to 6 a.m. Saturday morning. Do I see installation happening, all 13 in that window? I'd like to say yes, but I'm too much of a realist to say yes. It's not that easy. Compressing 13 into, you know, so it's like one every 20 to 30 minutes. So we're going to be moving fast. It's an incredible challenge to do this project. The bigger the demands, the bigger the challenge, therefore the greater the satisfaction. This is the last truckload leading from the studio that will be going to Connecticut to be staged. The install is only a week away. We've been working on the project now for years. As far as activity directly at the studio, we are totally complete here once this truck pulls away. We have hit all of our deadlines and now we just wait for the install.